this demo, I'm going to show you how to export your animation or motion graphic out of After Effects. So this particular one, you can kind of see what it's looking like. Um, get a little bit of lag there. Um, it's only about five seconds long, but I have a 30 second project. So um, what I'm going to do here is actually change this so that I don't export the entire thing. So I'm going to have it stop right there. So I want to do that. You can see if I hover over, it says work area end. I'm going to slide that guy over. I'm pretty sure if I hold down shift, it'll snap to it. And what I'm going to do now is export this thing. So I'm going to go File, Export, and Add to Render Queue. And this is not, in my opinion, the most uh, user-friendly part of After Effects, um, but I'll show you how, that, how I kind of use it. Um, so the, really, I don't use the render settings. I pretty much just go straight up in Output Module. And first up, I'm going to tell it where to export to. So I go here, click on this little blue guy, and I'm like, okay, desktop. Um, and you, know, you can open up or close down your carrot. I'm going to say desktop, and I want it to go to After Effects, Exports, and Graphic Animation Video Demo. Okay. Now, I'm not saving it yet. It's just, you know, I'm just titling it. And right here, it'll tell you it's going to my username, desktop, After, After Effects, Exports. Um, so that's all set up. Now, the next thing you want to do is go right here to Output Module. I don't use the little drop downs. What I tend to go to is just click here, and that little blue lossless. And here, what I can do is change, uh, make sure it's QuickTime file, which I like. I'm going to go over to Format Options and Video Codec. I'm going to change to the H.264. Now, you can change that to whatever you want. I just think that one's fine for me for the file size and whatever. Um, so I'm going to hit OK. Um, one other thing uh, I will show you is, um, I guess, I think this would be under actually render settings, best settings. Right here, the time span, you can actually do the entire length of your comp or the work area only. Um, that's what we want because we only want like five seconds exporting. So here, I'm going to close that up. That's really the only thing I use render settings for. And that's why we had our, our timeline uh, moved over, uh, the work area moved over. So now I'm going to go file, I'm going to go export, add to render queue. And, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I already did that. Duh. Uh, so it's already queued, it's already set up, and I'm going to just make sure that's all uh, how I wanted it. Uh, yep, and I'm going to hit render. You're going to see right here, it's going to render it out, and it shouldn't take that long. It's really only like six seconds. And then when you're done, you get a little noise, and I'm going to go to my After Effects exports folder, and here it is. So I can open it up and play it, and it's its own thing now. And that's it.